Hello, my name is Asga and welcome to Wine Gives For You Wine TV. Today we're going to be looking at tasting wine. There are basically three elements of tasting wine. The first one is you look at the wine, the second one is you smell the wine and the third one is you taste the wine. Now why is, why is the look of the wine so important? Well how many times have you seen something, if you don't like the look of it, you've already made your mind up that you're not going to enjoy it. So with wine, what we're going to see, we're going to see nice colours, clear colours that we're used to. So, here's a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc, a Chilean one, that we're going to do the wine tasting with. Okay, so you pour the wine, and you look at it. Now this particular wine is very much straw colour when you look at it. It's very clear, it looks very clean, so the wine is fine by itself. So that's the first one, so you're happy with the look of it. The second one, we're going to swirl the wine because we want to smell it. So we're going to give it a quick swirl. If you're not happy doing it this way, what you can do is put it on a flat surface and just turn it like so. That's another way of doing it. And what this does, this releases the aromas of the wine in the glass. So we're just going to have a quick smell. First of all, the wine smells very fresh, very clean. And if the wine has gone off, you'll be able to smell it in the glass. So clearly, we're not going to drink it. But this wine smells very, very fresh. The next thing, when you smell it, we're looking for the aromas of the wine. Now, wines can be either fruity, so they can be apple-y, green apples, they can be cherries, they can be plummy, they can be lots and lots of different types of fruits. The other way they can be okay, they can be chocolatey, they can be leathery. There's lots and lots of description that you can give to the, the aromas of the wine. So this one has got very much of a gooseberry taste on it because it's a Sauvignon Blanc. You can taste a little bit of apple notes on there, and a little bit of fresh grass in there. So, so that's the aromas of the particular wine. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to taste the wine. Now. So we'll have a taste, and there's two ways of doing this. One is where you can chew the wine, and the other one is where the professionals do it, where you can you 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 breathe air over the wines, and I'll explain to you why. So first of all, we're just going to chew it. And by chewing the wine, what we do is we're going to get the wine around the all of the palate of the tongue because the tongue can only taste four parts it can taste bitterness it can taste sweetness it can taste acidity and it can taste salt by the next method that we're going to show you by by running air over the wine what you're doing you're encouraging the aromas of the wines to go towards the nasal passage and that's where we get our taste from. So on this particular one, as I said, we can taste the gooseberries, we can taste a little bit of green apples in there and we can taste how the wine is going to be tasted. So those are the three elements of tasting wine. The first one is you look, second one is you smell and the third one is you taste and that's how you taste wine. Okay, so now that we've smelled the wine, what we're going to do, we're going to actually taste the wine. And the, the best way of doing that is, one, you take a gulp of wine and you chew it. And the second one is, which is the way the professionals do it, is you roll the tongue inside the mouth uh, with the wine inside it and take some air in. So we'll do it both ways. The first one is chewing it, and it's basically like chewing food. So here we go. And what, and what you're trying to do is to get all of the wine around the palate. Because the palate consists of, palate can only taste four parts, which is bitterness, sweetness, this wine's really acidic, so it can taste acidity, and it can taste saltiness. So that's why we're trying to get the wine all around the palate. The second way of doing it, which is a little bit more difficult, but everybody can do with a little bit of practice, you take the wine inside the mouth, you roll the tongue around the, the wine, and then we're going to take the air in. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So we're taking the wine. 
The reason why we do that is because, as I explained earlier, the mouth can only taste four parts to it. But the, what we're trying to do is fo force the aromas up towards the na nasal passage where we can smell the different types of aromas. So in this case, we can, sm we can smell the gooseberries, the appleness, the grassiness, and that's where we're getting the aromas of the wine, which is then giving us a taste. And that's how you taste wine.